Dr. Howard, who says, what natural therapies can you safely add to conventional chemo for triple negative breast cancer? So maybe we could kind of segue into that as well. As yeah, and it's kind of related to Shauna's question, um, yeah. Dr. Howard's question. It's, um, this was the first book that I was going to write. I still might write it, <laughs> but there's three parts to that book. Um, and this answers your question, Dr. Howard. Thank you for the question. Um, and also Shauna, this will come back to you as well. That um, if you think about, so, so there are gonna be a certain percentage of people that wanna use conventional oncology. And I honor my patients. If they wanna do that, great. If they don't, I honor that as well. Um, so I just meet them where they're at. And I'm gonna be their biggest cheerleader as well. If they're gonna choose a conventional oncology approach, and that can include everything from chemo, radiation, surgery, immunotherapies, um, hormonal therapies, et cetera. And we have the, the opportunity before they even start. I had a patient like this yesterday. Actually, we've been working together for 18 years. And sadly, she just got diagnosed with an invasive ductal cell carcinoma, probably stage two, maybe stage three. And it's a triple positive. So opposite of Dr. Howard's question, but related to the question is she hasn't yet, she, she knows that she's going to um, do whatever the oncologists are, are suggesting, but they haven't started yet. So this is the opportunity. And part one of the book is how, what strategies can we use from natural medicine world to pre prep the person, prepare them best before these conventional uh, oncology treatments, which are really profoundly powerful. Uh, before that person has it. So their body's ready. Part two is what can we use while they're using those conventional therapies that number one will enhance those therapies, make them work better. For example, the work of Walter Longo, uh, professor at University of Southern California with the fasting, fasting mimicking diet showed in, in rats and mice that by fasting, um, and, and the question is, would keto do the same thing? And I think yes as long as you're measuring your ketones and you're not just in mild, but in, in therapeutic ketosis. But with, by fasting these mice, the chemo not only worked better, it worked in some cases up to a thousand times better. Now, who wouldn't want that? If you're gonna go through the trouble of getting chemo, wouldn't you want it to work potentially a thousand times better? And then number two, what can we do that will, without minimize, without reducing any of the efficacy of these therapies that will, potentially minimize the side effects of them. For example, chemo, you have chemo brain, you have fatigue, you have um, potential for neuropathies, et cetera. Um, for radiation, the burn, the you know, skin can get burned, um, fatigue, et cetera. So there's a lot we have in the toolbox, Dr. Howard, um, or Howard's, well, well <laughs> Howard's with the best, yeah. Um, there's a lot that we have in the toolbox that can do both of those things, make the conventional stuff work better and minimize the side effects. In addition to that, we can use natural therapies that in and of themselves will help a part of our immune system that was supposed to be doing its job and, and taking, cleaning up these rogue cells to help those, that part of our immune system do a better job. And potentially there's things in the natural medicine world that have direct cytotoxic effect, such, such as the high dose vitamin C IVs. So for a triple negative, I know in the conventional uh, oncology world, it's ground, it's it's a it's a ominous um, finding because there's not a whole lot of tools in the toolbox. There aren't the targets to be able to go after those. Uh, there's some, but there aren't very many. As opposed to like a triple positive, like my patient from yesterday, there's a ton of things that they can use. So triple negative. But in the natural medicine world, um, if we're viewing it from a terrain perspective, of course, there's all of that stuff. And if we're viewing it from more of a a Western modern medicine approach, then there's a lot we have there as well. And it's stacking these things together. It's things like mistletoe, perhaps a ketogenic diet, hyperbaric oxygen, the ozone therapies we were talking about, high dose intravenous vitamin C IV. There's things like low dose naltrexone, high dose melatonin. I mean, we could go on and on down the list, but I wouldn't just recommend carte blanche or a generic approach, I test, don't guess. So with all my patients, we go through extensive testing. It's, it can be up to $6,000 of testing. And we have to wait two to three weeks, to get everything back. And then we can go and take a deep dive into which of these areas are gonna be the most helpful.